Namaskaromi and welcome back. So now that we've made it through three of our four agarnas, classes one, four, and six, uh, we can now turn to class ten of the agarnas. Now remember, the agarnas are our classes of Sanskrit verb roots, these dhatus, where when you process the root to turn it into a present stem, you're going to add a marker, a gana marker, that is going to, in one way or another, involve the letter a, uh, the a uh gana. Uh, the last of the a uh ganas, the tenth gana, is known as the chur gana. Uh, like with the others, the name comes from uh, a root that characterizes the class. So if you learn how to conjugate the root chur, you can keep it as a template to figure out how to conjugate any of the tenth class verbs. Uh, the root chur means to steal, and it gets conjugated as chorayati. Uh, he or she or it steals. Te chorayanti. The they, three or more, steal. Tom chorayasi. You steal. Aham chorayami. I steal. Right? Uh, here, just like with classes one, four, and six, we're going to have our, e our typical elongation of the a uh becomes an a ah before our uttama purusha endings are our first person endings uh, in the Parasmaipada and actually in the Atmanepada as well. So, Avam Chora Yavaha, the two of us steal. Vayam Chora Yamaha, we three or more are stealing. Uh, for the 10th class, what we, we're going to do to form the stem is first we strengthen the root by gunating it, and then we add our Gana marker, which is Aya. So, Chur gunates first to Chor, then you add Aya to get your stem Choraya. Uh, and then you, then you add your endings. Chorayati, uh, right? A very common 10th class root is chint, to think. For this root, we have to go back to what we talked about with blocking gunation uh, in our class one, where there are two kinds of roots that, where the gunation gets blocked, if you remember. One, if it ends in a consonant cluster, and the other when the root is CVC, and the vowel, the V, is a long vowel. Here, chint ends in our cluster, nt, right? And so there's going to be no gunation. It simply stays chint. And then you add your aya to get chintaya and chintayati. She thinks, he thinks, it thinks. Te chintayanti, they think. Aham chintayami, I think. Aham chintayami yat bhavantaha sarve ativa samichi naha chatraha iti. I think that you are all very good students. Uh, finally, uh, and, and you won't be learning this for a while, but we should note that there's a certain kind of verb construction known as the causative construction, which is also going to get conjugated in the 10th class. I can give you a couple of examples here. They're useful to know. Gum means, of course, to go, right? The first class verb becomes gachati. Uh, now, Ramaha vanam gachati. We, weren't, we know that sentence, right? Rama goes to the forest. But now if you make someone go, uh, the, you take the root, you gunate it, sometimes you actually vruddhiyaize it, uh, and then you add that same aya uh, marker. So you get gamayati. Kaikei ramam vanam gamayati. Kaikei makes rama go to the forest. Uh, chalati is a first class verb that means to move. Uh, vahanam chalati, the car moves. But sita vahanam Chalayati would mean Sita makes the car move. In other words, Sita drives the car. Here, notice the root gets vruddhiized, not gunated. That's fine. You'll learn all about what happens when further down the road. But it's just a little preview, just to, just to give you a heads up that there's another kind of verb that falls into the 10th class, these causative verbs. With that, let's take a break here. I would take this as a good opportunity to pause, review all of the four ganas we've looked at so far, test yourself, try to form different uh, conjugations. All of these involve the akara as part of the class markers of each. For class one, the bhu gana, we have to gunate the root and add a. Right? Bhu becomes bhavati. For the fourth class, the dhu gana, no gunation of the root, just add your marker ya to get divya, divyati. For the sixth, you do no gunation of the root again. You just add your gana marker a. Uh, so tud tudati. And finally, for the chur gana, the tenth gana, uh, we gunate the root when we can. We add aya to get chintayati or chorayati. So those are your aganas. Uh, There's basically 
one stem that's involved for each of those ganas, and the markers all end in a. Uh. Now starting in our next segments, what we're going to do is turn to the non-aganas. These are a lot more complicated. Uh, not only are there more sandhi rules that you're going to encounter, uh, the, because the class markers will not involve the final letter a, uh, but you'll have consonants now, but you're also going to experience a phenomenon known as strong weak stem alternation, for, which means that for each root, there are going to be two possible stems, one which is strong, one which is weak, based on which endings you're adding uh, to conjugate your verb. So complicated. <laughs> Until then, thank you for watching. See you next time. Punar milamaha danyawadaha. <laughs>